dumb I clean and my hands are full. Give me your trump and your watch. I'll take very good care of them. Not my watch. It's very precious to me. Why not the watch? You need to hold a paintbrush in one hand and a bucket in the other. It's very important. I need it to keep the time. I have a party to attend later. Don't worry. You'll get your party in no time. What could possibly go wrong? Father, that bell still won't come down for dinner. It's been so long since we had anyone to serve and perform, for when we finally have one, she won't come down to dinner. The beast has not taken her absence well, but at least you won't have to perform that silly number, eh, Lydia? Ah, it is not silly. It's an amazing performance we've been working on for ten years. Well, let's keep that ten-year record going, shall we not? You're just jealous because last time you tried dancing, your gears fell out. Well, at least I don't perform a full song and dance number every time we have tea. I'll have you know, there are three I switch for between tea time and seven meals. Thank you very much. But what happens to all that choreography once we're human again? It'll all be wasted, eh? That's it. We become human again. This girl may be the last chance we get. And the beast keeps messing it up. Why would you say that about the master? You know what I mean? But I have an idea. Why on earth would you bring that up? You know that's supposed to stay in the West Wing. It's fine. I only want something to try and lure Belle out of her room. It's only for a few hours. Whatever could go wrong. Remember, keep all arms and legs inside the carpet at all times and enjoy a whole new world. Hey, Jeannie. Oh, Iago, what are you doing here? This isn't your part of the story. John first been getting on my nerves with Paul, his orders. Why do you even work with that guy? You're more than welcome to stay with us. I work with him because of the amount of candy that he gives me. He gives me two bags of candy a day. Candy? Do birds even eat candies? Can I have some? No, it's fine, candy. Come on, Iago. Sharing is caring. I I give you licorice. It's licorice? Don't you have anything else? Uh. I don't have anything else. Oh, really? Then what's that on the floor? Oh, uh, it's not mine. It's his. Iago, it's not nice to lie to others. Fine. I'm giving you candy. But please, don't tell my mom. All right, let's have an excellent afternoon. Your mom? <laughs> I can't believe today is my wedding day of my happily ever after. Speaking of happily ever after, where is Prince Charming? Oh, he's still getting ready. You know how he is. Always has to look charming. Oh, nothing but perfection for you, my darling. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fairy Godmother. Speaking of charming, could you go check on him for me, please? Of course, dear. Oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. I have something for you. What is it? Every lovely one should have a proper mouth for their wedding day. Thank you so much, Fairy Godmother. Of oh, course. Cool. Now, I'll be seeing you at the ceremony. Bibi Bobby Bob Bobby. Today's going to be the best day ever. Why does this get to happen to her? How come it's not for me? Because you have a bucket head. Well, what? If I have a bucket head, then 
tired of Neverland, so he decided that he would make a machine to get back to London, England. And now he's stealing all of our things. What's so special about London? Well, a long time ago, Captain Cook was born in Lon London, England, and the magical items will make the machine work. So he's trying to collect them, to make them, to get back to London. Wait, what is this England you speak of? You know, mainland, London, England, or Queen Elizabeth rules. Wait, who is this Queen of England? You know, Queen Elizabeth II. She's only like the richest, most powerful queen of all. She has so many castles and jewels and crowns, and I can go on and on about how rich she is. Wow, I would love to be in her position. Anyways, would you like to help me get our stuff back? Sure. sure. <laughs> all right, let's go. Do you have to have a bathroom? 
We read. Your Majesty, sit right down the hall right there. Oh, wait, thank you. So, what do we... So, what do we have to do? I believe they're going to Aladdin next. We just need to follow them and get our stuff back. Come on, Cogsworth. Let's get the mayor back before wait, the beast finds out. Uh, where'd the queen go? Oh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, let's just get up. It doesn't. We shouldn't wait for her. She'll catch up. Off yeah. to Aladdin. Okay. It's 
want it to have gone far. Now, do you want to twit or make me wait? I, I can't worry about Candy right now. <laughs> Without the lamp, Jafar can't be defeated, and I can't be free. Maybe that's a good thing, though. We, we, we could be and do whatever you want. No, without the lamp, you, you don't understand. Without the lamp, our stories can't continue. But I wouldn't mind the twigs. So where do you think the lamp went? Well, actually, now that I think about it, that short person from earlier might have taken it. Take it. What are you guys doing here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. Oh, we're just here to help, I promise. Have you seen any pirates around here lately? Uh, last time I checked, we don't get pirates around here. Tall guy, short guy, stealing your stuff perhaps? Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I, I did see someone that fit your description. Hey, he's going around stealing everybody's stuff. He took my pixie dust and my watch. He took our mirror, and they took my lamp. Would you like to help us get everything back together? I believe he's going to Cinderella next. Well, I, I don't think we have a choice. I'll join you. All right, off to Cinderella.
I hope that wasn't directed at me. Because if you're picking a fight with me, someone's going to get real hurt. Well, I'm not going to like what happens. You bet I am. I'll fight you right here and now, mate. Oh. All right, I'll tell you. You ask for it. Oh, lady, wait until I get a hold of you. If somebody holds this, it's not like a real dog and nothing. All right, I'll tell you. I've been, I've been a few places. I'm going to get no fight. Oh, man, oh, man, I am so scared. Shiver me timbers. I'm quaking in my boots. Sneak us out of here. Oh my gosh, that was so terrifying. Fiancé does well, Drizella. Are you joking, Anastasia? I literally can't do anything. My hot princess has ditched me forever. Come on, Drizella. We have to get out of here. There is nowhere to go. Now that my hot prince has ditched me. You mean I'm in the kids for running away to me with their hot princess? Oh. Well, you should have said that, you silly Billy. Let's go. You girls are right. This is so scary. Yeah, queen. Let's get out of here. Cindy, dear, my wand. I have some things that need fixing. Uh, fairy godmother, I don't have your wand. Gisella? You scared Gisella away. And Anastasia. So who did I think they want to? Oh, are we too late? Do you guys still have your magical items? But tell me what? They took my pixie dust. They took my watch. They took our mirror. And my lamp. Don't you mean our lamp? I meant this too, funny boy. I don't care about your lamp. There's only one that took it and did. Anyways, if we work together, we can still get all of our items back before midnight. Would you like to help me? Of course. All right. Come on, guys. Let's yeah. go.
be Little Miss Tinkerbell. Pip Stein the wrong the most. Here is your precious pixie dust back, my lady. Thank you. You saved your best for last. Now I think it's time I return you all back to your respective homes. Smitty the Leo. Got it, Captain. Sprinkle the pixie dust and the 